taught what they want us to know. Yeah, yeah. And you know what's interesting about that, since you mentioned it, um, I don't know much about space, and I'm not a scientist, but I remember reading something about the current theory about the universe mostly centers around gravity. It's the mm-hmm. force that holds everything together, yeah. and, and I don't understand that because it's really the weakest force there is. Mm-hmm. But according to scientists, that's what's holding everything together. There are others that believe in something called the electric universe theory, that it's not gravity that's holding everything together. It's these invisible electrical currents that tie it all together in, a, in an interesting way. Hmm. And um, it, I don't know. I mean, that, there's some. there's a lot to that that makes sense to me. But I'm not scientifically educated enough to even understand what I'm reading about it. Okay. But um, maybe that could be a, a future uh, episode if we can find someone um, conversant in the electric universe theory. Hmm. Uh, because, I'll have to look that up. Yeah, look that up because that might be that might have a better explanation of what's really going on in the universe than gravity. You know, because mm-hmm. clearly these devices, these craft that we're seeing as UFOs, are anti gravity vehicles yeah. you know yeah uh and we've never been able to create an anti-gravity device mm-hmm. according to the media but there's yeah. there's an entire uh there's a y files episode i recommend anybody want to watch on youtube about any uh, about uh, free energy devices that you should watch well i was going to say if we had created an anti-gravity device we probably wouldn't need cars anymore right which would destroy the whole oil industry which is a lot of money for a lot of elites well that's the very premise of that episode okay and it's all about we have created these things and every individual that ever did produce something like a free energy device or an anti-gravity device has been killed Mm -hmm. by the government by or, who? By the government or the goons oh, of the, the of the okay. uh, of the uh, fuel industry. Okay. And they and they get their patents. Hmm. They then get control of their patents, so nobody else can do it either. And so they have this technology. Yeah. And they're using it because they got it from the demonic entities and the fallen angels. Mm-hmm. But they don't want you to have it. Yeah. Because they're elites. So again, mind control. Yeah. It's all about that. Anyway, moving forward. Mm. Uh, what are we going to look for? What are the signs we're supposed to look for? And what 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 is the, what changes are coming to the sun? Is it just a grand solar minimum and crop failure, or could it be tied to something else? Hmm. And I'm going to posit the idea that we could go into this, if, if we are in the last days, as I believe we are, then this particular grand solar minimum may be more severe than others. Like, it could be that it's even cooler and less solar activity than other minimums past. And it's the perfect time to have crop failures and, and things like that to promote this yeah. World Economic Forum Agenda 2030. Hmm. And if that is the case, then the world's in for a huge awakening because there's going to be another change to the sun that's the absolute opposite of cooling. And we're going to see that in the book of Revelation. Revelation.